Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to my November 2023 book haul. I have two books to share with you. Let's go ahead and get started. Dane reads. Alrighty, so the first book is one I've actually already read as well. Um, I was sent this by the author. This is Shepherd's Delight by Charles Heathcote, our very own Charles Heathcote here on Booktube. This is his first collection of poetry. Um, it's basically about him. I mean, he's vegetarian, but he's raised by a farming family. And it's kind of him coming to terms with that and what uh, farming means for him. It, uh, the blurb, it's very short and simple. Rural landscapes and the mythology of his family's farming background are themes explored in this first collection of poetry by Charles Heathcote. So, would recommend getting that. I can already tell you I enjoyed it. Um, and then I also picked up Turtle Recall by Terry Pratchett and Stephen Briggs. This is the Discworld Companion so far, uh, which I guess it, it appears to just be a dictionary uh, of, of Discworld stuff, basically. Such as Musician's Girl, Dr. Mossy Lawn, mm. Tonka Jackson, an old army pal of Sergeant Fred Colon. Yo, people, um, I have some books to haul for you. Let's see. I mean, the first one uh, I will talk to you about is All the Discords are Stage by Terry Pratchett. Um, so this is stage plays based on Terry Pratchett's novels. We've got Feet of Clay, The Rinse Cycle, based on, uh, I guess, several windscreen. Yeah, The Light Fantastic with bits of the colour of magic and sorcery added for good measure. Um, and then we have Unseen Academicals as well. And, um, yeah, I've never seen any of the Discord plays. I'd, I would absolutely love to, but what's interesting is uh, the Feet of Clay one. Feet of Clay is actually one of my favourite Discworld novels. It's the first Discworld book that I read, so I'm particularly keen to do, to get to that. Um, and yes, the reason I picked this up, you will see this happening more in the hall, is that um, Terry Pratchett is now the author who I'm trying to get all of the books by. Um, so you've seen me do this with various other authors. Pratchett is actually the author I've read the most books by anyway, because he has so many. So now I'm on all the rare and obscure stuff like this one. So I picked that up. And then when I went into town today, I went to drop some stuff off at one of the charity shops because I've been having a bit of a clean and a sort out. And I picked up three books while I was there. So I got More Fool Me by Stephen Fry, which is just one of his memoirs. Memoir number three, apparently. Uh, I've read one or two of them before. Uh, Sandy Toxvig, Melted Into Air. Um, and I read her um, Hitler's Canary recently, which was very, very good. Um, I don't know how many books she has out. Uh, she's seven books for children and a memoir. Anyway, uh, I enjoyed uh, Hitler's Canary so much that I'm I'm now going to go through and read everything that uh, Tox Figure's done. And then I got Twilight by Stephanie Meyer because I've always wanted to. Well, I take that back. I haven't always wanted to read it, but over the last couple of years, basically since I read the Hunger Games books and enjoyed those. I enjoyed them enough that I was like, right, I'm going to give chances to books that I haven't given chances to. And uh, Twilight is, is the next one. Although I'm not sure when I'm going to read this because I don't really want to sit there reading it on the exercise bike at the gym because people will judge me. I'm already judging myself. Alrighty guys, just the one book to haul for you today, uh, that is The Assault on Reason by Al Gore. So I saw this going in a charity shop near me, I thought I'd pick it out, I've always, um, I, don't, I don't know too much about uh, Gore's policies and politics and things like that, I know, I think he did run for president, didn't he? Um, but what I'm mostly known for is um, his environmentalism, and I, you know, gotta respect him for that. So I thought I would read this and uh, see what he has to say. It seems to be, uh, it's all about, yeah, well, the subtitle says it all, I guess. How the politics of fear, secrecy, Secrecy and blind faith subvert wise decision making, degrade democracy and imperil America and the world. Um, and that seems to me like something important that is worth reading about, you know? Alrighty guys, just got the one book to haul for you today. That is Death's Domain, a Discworld map by Terry Pratchett and Paul Kidby. Um, it is basically exactly as it says. This is like a little guidebook to Death's Domain with a little bit of information about that. And then it comes with this big old map that shows you Death's Domain which I'm considering framing and putting on my wall. I haven't decided whether to frame it and put it on my wall or whether to um, just sell this back on on eBay because I also, you know, I don't want to deprive another Discworld fan of being able to uh, to take a look at it. But yes, I've already read this one. I uh, had a good peruse of the map at home and then I read the guidebook at the gym. And uh, it was very good. But yes, Death's Domain. 
Alrighty guys, just the one book to haul for you today. I picked this up from the book exchange at my local supermarket at Morrison's. This is Ruth Rendell, uh, The Thief. Uh, it's one of the quick reads, so it's pretty big print as well, and it's like 80, 90 pages. This will, this will be less than a single stint on the exercise bike at the gym for me, um, which is nice. It's always nice to have quick reads, but more importantly, oh, Biggie's just gone up behind me on the cat tree. More importantly, I've never really read Ruth Rendell before. I think I tried reading one of her books and DNF'd it because um, I wasn't enjoying it. So I'm hoping a quick read will kind of help me to get into her a little bit more. And she's just one of those authors that I know I should like because she's kind of in the style of uh, Agatha Christie. So that's what we've got. Also, I've just been trying to peel this bark, this thing off the front and it's not enjoying it. Look. Oh, well. Alrighty, guys. I have four books to haul for you today. I picked these up, funnily enough, in uh, Lidl. Yeah, in Lidl, which is a supermarket over here. Um, they all marked £5.99 on the back, but I assumed it was going to be cheaper than they were. When I took them to the checkout, they were £1.99 each. I got a set. I don't know if this is the whole series, but it's the first four books. Uh, matching set. This is uh, Suzanne Collins. We have Gregor the Overlander, Gregor and the Prophecy of Bane, Gregor and the Course Curse of the Warm Bloods, and Gregor and the Marks of Secret. This is the Underland Chronicles books one to four. Uh, Suzanne Collins obviously being the author of the Hunger Games books. So, interesting. Yeah, I have no clue what they're about, but I will read them soon. Hello everybody, just the one book to haul for you today. Very exciting. Terry Pratchett, uh, Aiden the Better by the Discord Emporium, 2015 Discord Diary, first and last aid. Uh, we are I Igors, Igors, Igors. Um, this I will just whiz through on an exercise bike uh, at the gym, possibly the next time tomorrow. Um, but it's just, it's literally a diary that you can keep, like, you know, that you can write in. But it does have bits and bobs of writing about the disc world in. Um, you know, opportunity knock, sometimes with a blunt instrument. So it's got like, maybe not full stories, but certainly stuff about the disc that you might not find elsewhere. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna read it, I'm not gonna write in it, and then I will sell it on, but I am very excited. Alrighty guys, well those are all of the books that I received in the month of November 2023. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, bye bye.